one hour plane ride south of Manila, and it's great to go there because you see all these islands below you, like a couple hundred islands. Some of them very big, some of the small, flat, big coral islands, volcanic islands, all kinds of islands. It's quite incredible. And I went there to see the Tarsar monkey, the, uh, which is the world's smallest, pardon me while I push these up, world's smallest uh, primate, smaller than the lemur. They're about this size, huge eyes. They're nocturnal. But some of them have been kind enough to stay by the roadside, various locations, and cling to these trees. You can take photos with them and touch them. And sometimes they get angry, but mostly they're very pleasant. This is called Anboho Island. The signs of love are waiting for my hands to seize them. I see them. I feel my hands this morning. Hungry men are fighting on the streets. The bridge has collapsed, and half the wounded are wandering. It feels to me as if the time for love is now. People will turn to the sky. The birds might fly onto my fingertips. I must tell you of the monkey on his pillar. He is a carnivore. Small birds and insects are prey. Human beings come to drive the tarsar away. This nocturnal animal remains. His small island trembles. We own nothing. We have nothing. We belong to no one. Our grief will burn like a leaf in the sun tomorrow. I must phone my love who will never escape death. He wants to see me on that wild mountain of the air. He will talk as the animal did on the hillside or speak from the shade of the mahogany forest in the land of the Tarsar, man-made, a chill wrath of air clouds him as he turns to tell me, this is where I am born. These are the streets of my youth. The earth falls within. I am a sign. I am not as able as the little monkey to escape from tree to tree or to build a case in the woods. These words I send you may want to place in the soft sand or place them on your tongue. The time for love is in this carnage, streets blown to oblivion, the wise wild gone, the wild wisdom torn in half like a sheet of white paper. I put one finger on the tarsers back, praising primate gods and thinking this is it. I am condemned. I am always in love. The signs, roots and branches, and loveless time, thorn and tar, our eyes glow in the thought of devastation. The cadets of the academy, so smooth of body, so lean and young. I will ponder the figure of the man I love as he waits on a dead weight of stars over his native land. I fear death because we must depart. What will happen? Now I am older and older. The ground is not steady. What part of me will he keep? What of him will I take most carefully to the other side of the island?